Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Wash Athens Podcast and another episode of This Week in Sports. This is episode four of This Week in Sports. We are on football season week 11, to my knowledge. And yeah, we're going to hop in with football and we're going to talk about some sports later. If you're new here on here, we're the Wash Athens Podcast. We have mainline podcast episodes where we talk about pretty much whatever. This is the This Week in Sports. You kind of just talk about what happened in the last week of sports. We record this on a Thursday, we post it on a Friday. Um, and yeah, I think that's about it. A bunch of college guys, and we're just going to get right into it. So football, week 11, we're going to talk recap some of the stuff that happened this weekend. And the first thing I have to recap is that Bills game versus that Vikings game. Game of the year, not even close. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, truly not even close. That was probably the wildest game from start to finish I think I've ever seen. I don't think I'm, I don't think I'm ever going to see another game where someone butt fumbles a snap <laughs> and then ends up tying the game in o- and then sends it to OT. Then... It was just, and also the Justin Jefferson catch, like, there's so much that happened in, like, such a short amount of time that I can't even wrap my head around this. Yeah, but Bill's third in the AFC East. Yeah. No one expected that. No, and, like, it's it's bad. It's tough to be like, well, you lost the game. I almost went to overtime. Like, some weird things happened. Like, Justin Jefferson doesn't make that catch. You're seven and two. But, like, reality is you're six and three. So, like, now you have the Jets who are ahead of you. And who, like, they're not... Like, they're not tied with the Jets. They're behind the Jets two yeah. games because of the uh, tiebreaker. Yeah. So, it's like, it's they're half a game back because one team has a bye, one team hasn't yes. had a bye yet. But now they're one and a half games back to the tiebreaker. So, it's like, it's deeper than that. They already lost some divisional in, in game half. And now they're playing this game in the snow coming up. Just where, got moved to Detroit. Oh, yeah. I did hear about that. Yeah, well, one of my people I know is going to that. Um, But, so it's not going to be in the snow anymore. Well, it'll probably still snow at Detroit. Well, Detroit is in the dome. Oh, to the dome. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Devin Singletary and Nick Chubb are shorter than six feet. So there was like the meme saying like Nick Chubb running into the end zone. It was like the square. It was so basically period, he would have so. been completely on the side. Yeah. yeah. Man, That's man. such a missed opportunity, man. I really want to see Bills, that the Bills, I think the Bills would have been six and four if that happened. I wanted the snow yeah. game at the would, century. They would have uh, signed Sean McCoy. For a one-day contract. This dude, Shady snow shady. in the snow shady, is... Snow shady. He is disgusting. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, but yeah, the Bills is interesting right here. I mean, Josh Allen kind of regressed a little bit in terms of like his turnovers. He's got into a big rut. Elbow injury. Yeah, but that's not, that doesn't affect the decision-making on that final. That's the thing. It's like... He's back to like... In, turnover he's still after turnover. Throw, but he's going back to the... Yeah. And like, I think it's just... The problem is he's... A little bit arrogant. He knows he can make all the throws, mm-hmm. but he, he's forcing it. He's forcing he's it. Not he's not thinking about it. Like, because he's trying to win the game. So. Yeah. Patrick Peterson, like anyone watching that game could see. Could read that. Yeah, the safety right. was right there. Yeah. And he just threw it. Well, and you didn't need a force right there. I mean, you look mm-hmm. at the situation there. You got, you're down three. You, you can tie the game. You're in field goal range. All you need to do is run the ball a few times. All you need to do is do a quick slant. Make sure the ball, make sure you don't go back anymore. Make sure you don't mm-hmm. do anything stupid. You at least get to OT. Yeah. And he throws a ball into heavy coverage and. It's not like a bad throw. He he meant to throw the ball in that location. Like it had good velocity. It wasn't mm-hmm. like a lofty throw. It wasn't yeah. tipped at the line or anything. It was because he had the, velocity. He had accuracy in the throw. Just he didn't read coverage. Yeah, because the thing is, is that Gabe Davis was behind Patrick Peterson, yeah. but he just threw it to the wrong spot. Yeah, because like if he threw it up and over Patrick Peterson that with, with some touch, that's yeah. that's Gabe Davis back in the end zone, getting me more points in fantasy. Like. Mm-hmm. That's 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 fine. I won last week. It's fine. <laughs> I've been on a winning streak. I've been happy. Um, but yeah, it's it's crazy. The Bills were far and away the front runners to win the Super Bowl. Now it's not. No, I, they dropped in the power rankings to four. I don't think I personally like. Look, their ceiling is higher than any other team. Mm-hmm. When they are firing at all cylinders, they are the best team in the NFL. For sure. Knows. But are they going to come out and play like? No, that's the question because now we don't know because yeah. if they, they can get shut down by the Jets mm-hmm. if they can get shut down by the Vikings what's going to happen when they play the Chiefs it's either going to be MVP Allen or, or 2017 Allen yeah and I mean this happened like I, it's drawing parallels they beat the Chiefs last year and they played dog for a lot of games and they got hot towards the end of the season and, lost and they lost to the Chiefs and they didn't make like they've got to do something here and this this team's, not, this team's been good for a couple of years like It'll be very interesting. Like they're they, Super Bowl windows now. They have an important stretch of these next two, three games are very important. They have to win them. They have to win them, especially. And we're gonna go right into it. This team here, the Dolphins, are seven and three. They look and good. They're not seven, just seven and three. They're seven and zero oh with Tua. Yeah. So the only games they've lost are the games where they've had to play with a backup quarterback. Or yeah. Tua gets destroyed. Exactly. But like it's he like 
people, obviously everybody's memeing on him because like, oh, he can't <laughs> throw the ball down the field, whatever. He's throwing nukes to Tyreek Hill. Yeah. Like, that team, I think they're more, like, obviously, ceiling of the Bills higher than anybody else. But consistently, yeah, the Dolphins are just good. Yeah. Like, yeah. always. Like, they don't make stupid mistakes. Like, their defense is opportunistic. Like, their offense, when firing, you have Jalen Waddell and Tyreek Hill. Mm-hmm. There's no way you can double both of them. Nope. Like, it's ridiculous. And Mike McDaniel is that madman somehow. Exactly. And then, like, you know, they have Raheem Mostert in the backfield. Mm-hmm. But because they don't have to rely on him like the 49ers did in the run game, he's able to just crack off. Well, now guys. they have Jeff Wilson. They have two guys, both from the 49ers offense, yeah. that know McDaniel's offense. Right. Like, let's, talk about, let's talk about these games they lost, right? They lose 12 points to the Bengals. They don't have Tua. Um, they have they get two other then he goes out like mid like really yeah, early yeah, on yeah, so yeah, yeah. For without five. essentially without Tua yeah so they like lose that game without Tua they lose the Jets by twenty three points completely without Tua yeah um and the Jets are pretty good as they it are, turns out yeah they they are scrappy and uh, they lose that Vikings game that they don't have Tua for yeah. and they lose by eight points only eight points and the Vikings are really good like they've lost to three was this one o'clock Kirk or uh prime time Kirk? unsure unsure about what time Kirk was in here but you um, have a phone yeah um <laughs> he had it open I don't know just go but um yeah they've lost to three good teams without their quarterback and they're just, like it's just like I think Dolphins are a really good football team and I think it's very kind of flips on the head we thought about that AFC East was all the bills and, well you know, we do know that the NFL does run through the East at this point yeah, because both divisions. all four teams in the AFC East would make the playoffs, and three of the four would make it in the NFC East. Yeah, the NFL runs through the East. Yeah, now. West Coast is gone. Let's go. <laughs> um, listen, I think if there's anything right now that we can agree on as NFC East uh, like competitors, because you're obviously a Giants fan yes. and Raj and I are Eagles fans, it's it's cool to see the East NFC East. Like I'm proud of the NFC. The East. NFC Beast is back. I'm I'm proud of the We're NFC again? Beast. We I'm are. not proud of the Giants. I'm not proud of the Giants. I'm just glad of like the, the, the competitive the, nature. Yeah, the competitive yeah. nature. Exactly. The fact that we're all good. Exactly. Um, you like to see good competition. Um, yeah. but what I don't like to see is the Philadelphia Eagles losing to the Washington Redskins on Monday Commanders. night. Commanders, man, Commanders <laughs> at Monday, eight twenty p.m. The Dan Snyders. I usually don't do that. It's funny. Um, Monday, eight twenty p.m. Prime time. To lose your undefeated season, tough. Was it at the link too? Yeah. You oh. know, I, I when I heard the little stat about what they did to the Steelers, they did the same thing at Heinz. It's same game time. It's the Commanders, or it's the unnamed football team in Washington on Monday night against an undefeated team, and specifically undefeated Pennsylvania teams. Undefeated Pennsylvania teams. Yes, I think. What that boils down to is the Eagles needed to know that they were going to get the best from every team from here on out because every team wanted to be the team that spoiled the Eagles. It was season. a trap game. Yeah. And the Eagles are going to play every single trap game from here on out. They were because yep. they were undefeated and they didn't come prepared. And what sucks is I said, it wasn't like we played them on the road, one o'clock game slate, didn't come ready. Just like a random Monday game. night prime, prime time, time football at home to save your un- to have an undefeated season go against 9 and a rival. against a division rival and to lose that game is humiliating and we can get into all the nuances the rest the fumbles the turnovers and the whatnot run defense. but over yeah run defense <laughs> overall speaking of the run defense the team just didn't play well right at all together yeah. yeah and you can go yeah. just go take it and then how we took that personally and said, I'm just going to sign the Avengers of the D-line. Yep. And picks up... Um, I, I the Dominican and, yes. and then also a D-tackle from the Chargers. Yes. Uh, so a Pro Bowl. Yeah. Nice. Like, so I don't know now. what his name was, mm-hmm. but yes. And, made, it's, and it's unfortunate. The Eagles' run defense was really be- much better with Jordan Davis, and he's hurt right now. Mm-hmm. Um, but they pick up two defensive tackles that should help the run game. It really should. And what's interesting, though, is I was going to talk about this, but I'm going to talk about it now. Um, they played the Colts this week. Colts won last week. Jeff Saturday might be the best head coach on the planet. If we you don't know, if you Colts lose, if. if the Eagles, like I'm nervous, if the Eagles lose against the Colts, I think they're on the road. If the Eagles lose at Indianapolis against Jeff Saturday and that team, and we go down to eight and two, it is going to be carnage. Yeah. If if you go down to eight and two and the Vikings win, yeah. So they jump you for the one seed. Yeah. It's gonna get loud. And we, do we really have a reason to believe that they're gonna go eight and two? No. No, like, absolutely not. They, they, they should beat the ever-living crap out of the Colts. Yes. With um, Shaquille Leonard yep. go out for the season. Yep. They have 
like they have Matt Ryan's at QB. Matt Ryan's like corpse. They have one of the worst offensive lines in the league. Well, because that's the thing. It's the most, it's the highest paid offensive line, but it's one of the worst performing offensive mm-hmm. lines. Yep. So they should walk in there and beat the living crap. Out Jonathan of the Taylor is just not good anymore. But Jeff Saturday. Uh, dude, he just had like 130 yards rushing. But Jeff Saturday. That. Yeah. <laughs> it's the Raiders. Right, it turned to the Raiders. Okay, it's the Raiders. <laughs> that is true. The it Raiders is. are off. I'm just saying, like, out of pure just like being an ego fan and overreacting, I'm nervous that we could lose I, this week. I will say. Oh, so yeah. I will give you guys one thing. It is a lot. I feel like now that you have lost, though, the weight of the undefeated season has been lifted. So you don't have to, f- like, focus and worry about that as much. And you can play a lot more, like, you know, you play a lot looser. You play, like, like okay, we don't have to worry about losing. We can yeah. go out there and just play to win. It's not we're playing, we can't lose. We're playing to win. Yeah. Like, I do think that is, like, a good mm-hmm. mindset that they should have. Will, but, they, will they have it, though? Who knows? I'm fine. We needed this. At least it was, I mean, as much as it sucks that that was the Commanders, it's, we needed this. It really sucks that it was Commanders. Um, but moving on, I wanted to also talk about the AFC West because what uh, changed from what we thought preseason? We thought that was going to be the bloodbath. The Raiders, who made the playoffs. The Thanks Denver Broncos, playoffs. who were good and finally got their quarterback. So, the Chargers with Justin Herbert, Ascension. Patrick Mahomes and the Chiefs. There's one team that's good, and yeah. it's still the, the, best quarterback, the best quarterback in the league. Yeah, the Chiefs. The Chiefs. The Chiefs. Who would have thought? We need yep. to find this clip of me saying, like, before preseason, the AFC West is going to be crazy. Yeah, exactly. Because... Nope. It's the opposite of crazy. Derek Carr is the only quarterback that got a top tier receiver. I got worse. Yeah. <laughs> Devontae is just probably like Aaron. <laughs> and do you guys hear the report? The Raiders don't have money to fire, to fire Josh McDonald. Yes, they, they don't always... have enough money to That's buy out his contract. Yes. And fire him. So, like, he's stuck there. So listen, guys, if you want to donate to the Kickstarter to fire Josh <laughs> McDaniels from the Las Vegas Raiders, I'm gonna start it right now. The thought alert about Josh McDaniels is crazy. It really is. Belichick made him. He was he was a system coordinator. <laughs> Imagine that. Imagine that. A system coordinator. Wow. Yeah. It was Belichick, Brady. Maybe and this is why players. Belichick didn't believe if he needed like an actual like OC because he because knew he, that because he knew he did it for the last like ten years anyway. Exactly. He's like, eh, McDaniels sucks without Brady anyway. Yeah. Who cares? <laughs> oh man. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to mention that because I mean the Raiders and the Broncos are officially out of it, and the Chargers are like one loss, and they're like pretty much out of it. It feels like, um, and they play the Chiefs this weekend. So, yeah. eh, GGs, bye Chargers. Well, speaking of Brady, first game in Germany this week. That was pretty hype. Yeah, that was pretty hype. Uh, them singing "Country Roads." That, that was, was electric. Yeah, it was all of the German because they didn't know any of the other words besides the chorus. Yeah, <laughs> and they were just, they just started singing, and then it was. While they snapped the ball, they just kept singing. Yeah. Like, didn't even break stride. That was one of the most electric things I've ever heard in my life. Yeah, I think if you're the NFL, I mean, I don't know what the, like, what behind the scenes looked like, but from the fan perspective, like, that was I, think the, so I, think the, cool. I think the Munich Germany game is here to stay. Yeah, I think oh, yeah. The, they will definitely be sending more games to Germany. Yeah. I think they would be very stupid if they did. Yeah. So that was really cool. Um, Bucks won, which is actually kind of a big deal. Brady's Tom Brady two and zero is is two and zero since getting divorced. Yeah, four and zero international games. Four and zero international games. Yeah, he yep. is. And now that he knows that Giselle is out with the, her jujitsu trainer. <laughs> oh my god, we didn't need to bring that up. Brady <laughs> might just win the Super Bowl at this point. Yeah, no. That would be epic if like that would he's be fighting so her. funny if he went completely undefeated after getting divorced and won Super Bowl MVP again. I would hate that so much. <laughs> I would hate it with the memes. Dude, <laughs> those would be it. fire. Do the memes outweigh The memes or my personal opinions. Nah, memes. Those have got to weigh more. NFL memes, get out Gronk. You're going to go insane if that happens. You yeah. know damn well he would beat the Eagles in the Super Bowl, too. Yeah, I know. That would be how he can't beat the Eagles in the Super yeah, Bowl. Wait. Oh, wait, they're both. Yeah. NFC. I forgot he wasn't the Patriots yeah, anymore. The NFL, <laughs> yeah. Um. But yeah, we're already running over time, of course, this sports. Um, of course. Oh, well. Big, 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 big. Thursday night football game tonight. Yes. Titans, Packers. Packers. I don't think, like, it's like, oh, well, these teams aren't actually that, like, it's like, oh, bad, two bad teams. It's make or break. Actually, the Titans are 6-3, and three, and the Packers are either fighting for their four season. 4-6. They're 4-6. and six. Four and six. Yeah. So they're either fighting to, like, stay in the conference. Because we got to remember here, the NFC East is not that good. I mean, the NFC is not that good. Yeah. So, like, they're them getting to step 500 would be a big deal. The they're getting Watson. to 5-6 and six here. And, again, we're going to think, yeah, like you said, is Christian Watson him? He I might be. He three might touchdowns. Be three touchdowns is no joke. Yeah. That's legit. And finally, because he had a bad drop at the beginning of the game, 
But I think after he caught that first one for a mm-hmm. touchdown, it's like, oh, this guy's going to be a dog. Yeah. God, he's like, guy. now that he's, like, finally clicking. Because there was all those that stuff about, like, Jamar Chase when he was like, oh, he's dropping everything, whatever. But then it just started to click for him, and then it just worked. Yeah, and I think, like, you saw uh, his body language in that game, Aaron Rodgers' body language. He was fired up. Fired up. So he I'm, threw a nasty block on somebody, yeah. too. That was hilarious. I, I saw him running over there, and I was like, is he going to throw a block? I was like, yeah. And then he, like, leaned into it. I was like, yeah. oh, my God. Goodness. Granted, he almost got ran over. But he did, fine. yeah. Um, and it's just, he's getting his fist pumped back yeah, on the yard. It's already on someone's team in our league, and it's on the bench, and it's on one of our auto draft teams. That's not it's on my team. Thanks for being off topic. Anyway, um, yeah, and I wanted to quickly mention Justin Fields. What he has done the last three weeks has like completely changed everyone's opinion on him. Like, your team, it's man. insane. Raj. Oh, is that? Oh, sorry. Whatever. <laughs> whatever <laughs> whatever sorry oh i picked him up in another league sorry <laughs> like, but yes justin fields is the next lamar jackson apparently but better but low-key maybe a little uh, better i don't know too early to say i, th- I think he's on, a wor- he's on a way worse team than baltimore but like i okay i think it's definitely too early to tell but like he's he, been cr- crazy the last three weeks like him the way he runs is insane. Yeah. He like pulls away from corners that are 10 mm-hmm. yards down the field. Yeah. Like that is wild. It's he's wicked fast. Yeah, it's cr- it's like watching him it's like I don't understand how this guy's just running past cuz it doesn't even look like he's moving that fast. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But he's just like strides out and he's gone. It's he, crazy. The air of the pocket pass was over. I it, you have to be a dual threat quarterback. Yeah. Now, yeah. Like, you have to be able to run. Like, yeah. unless you were truly, like, the best pocket passer. You, you have to be a dynamic scrambler at, at minimum. At minimum, yeah. Because you look at guys like Patrick Mahomes who aren't runners, but dynamic scramblers, really good at scrambling. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Josh Allen, I wouldn't even consider him a running quarterback, but he's a really good Oh, he's a running Dude. quarterback. Are you kidding me? I don't know. I think he's a pass-first quarterback, though. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. 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 I was about to say. That's yeah, yeah, trying yeah. to tackle Ford F-150. No, no, no. no, no. <laughs> okay. he's, like, he's definitely, like, he runs as a quarterback. I'm saying that's not his first look. Like, he mm-hmm. is a passing well, quarterback, yeah. but he has, like, he's a true and, dual threat. Yeah, yeah, he's both. Um. Like Lamar, Justin Fields, or I mean, even, like, okay, Malik even Willis. even look at somebody, look at somebody like Daniel Jones. He's not a great thrower, but as a runner, yeah. <laughs> he creates that like yeah. it's like okay, like we can actually run a read option with him. Yep, like and doing that in the pros is ridiculous because mm-hmm. like that just doesn't happen. And when you have an RPO where you can either hand it off to the RB, read option it yourself, or yeah. you could throw it exactly. It's like how are you going to defend that? Exactly. What are the pocket passers left? Brady Rogers. Brady Rogers, but Matt even Ryan. Rogers is a really Matt good Ryan, scrambler. Yeah. Well, Matt Ryan just ran for thirty nine yeah. yards. Yeah. This week. he was hauling. <laughs> the Matt Ryan just, yeah, um, that's going to do it for football. Um, it'll be interesting. I think like in two weeks we're going to get a little bit more of an idea about what's going on in the this league. This season has been on crack. It's yeah, been it's been on crack. But, like Rangers. in two weeks we're really going to see where some yes. lines are. I mean, yeah, yeah. if you start seeing the Eagles at like. We're not going into it too much. But no, no, no. You can't even speak that into existence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I'm going to be quiet. Um, basketball. <laughs> I can start with my guy, Joel Embiid. 59, 11, 8, and 7 to be one of the highest rated games in the last 40 years for a regular season Are player. Are Sixers good again? No, not quite. <laughs> <laughs> but Joel Embiid is really good. And I just had to mention that because that game was incredible. Get I don't know there. if anyone watched it. No. No? No. No, okay, but trust me, guys, you're listening here, you're watching because you like sports, you're a real sports person. That was really cool. Anyway, we'll move on. Ste- yesterday, Steph dropped 50 points. They okay. lose. They lose to the Suns. They go down to 6-9 and nine on the season after winning an NBA title last year. They're fine. Why are they fine? Some Warriors. They'll somehow, some way, squeeze their way into the playoffs. They're going to some way, somehow, learn how to play defense. Clay Thompson will learn how to shoot the basketball. No, they're gonna Draymond Green would not, will go back in time and not punch Jordan Poole in the face. And James Wiseman, who was the number two overall pick in the draft, will somehow not get called back up from the G League that he just got placed on, and maybe he'll actually be an NBA player. No, they're just tanking for the next guy, whatever his name is. <laughs> That's just all they're doing. They're just not playing defense because they just don't want to. They're just like, oh, well, a, we're trying. We're it's, a cons- up points. it's a conspiracy. Yeah. They're, it's like, oh, well, we're putting up points. We're trying. We're not tanking. We're just bad. And then suddenly, oh, look at that. They get the best player ever. Then, oh, they suddenly know how to play defense again. I've never heard this. This is crazy. I don't know. You it's heard little, it here first. It's, it's a goes, little suspect. The Golden State Warrior conspiracy. Anywho. Are the Lakers still trash? Lakers are still trash. Yeah, cool. The Brooklyn Nets, they got really good after they fired Steve Nash and Kyrie Irving said those anti-Semitic things and then left the team. So they were doing really good, and then they lost two straight after giving up 153 points to the uh, Kings in regulation. And then, 
And then now maybe Kyrie's back, maybe not. Does KD want to be there? KD said that quote. Well, I don't have the quote in front of me, but he said something like <laughs> kind of quote. Um, I'm playing with Joe Harris, Nick Claxton, this other guy, and this other guy. And, I mean, everyone knows what we want to do. It's all about number seven. Yeah. And pretty much called his players trash. Yeah, pretty much. And said, what, is he, what do you want him to do? Which, like, yeah, but you should say Kind of but don't say that. Yeah, but don't say that. <laughs> um, so, I don't really know what's going on with the Nets. Like, they won a couple games after They're the – They're a dumpster fire. Yeah, they won a couple games. And then Ben Simmons – Ben Simmons, man. Um. Man, Can I, I be Ben Simmons? Like, he's getting paid millions to run around on the court. Like, he doesn't yeah. do anything. Yeah. He he is six foot ten and doesn't take contested layups. Yeah. Like, you are six foot ten. It's bad. Go for the rim. Ben Simmons had a quote the other day, too, about, like, his play. And I forget what he said, but it was he funny. Said, I'm a competitor. Yeah, he said, it's I'm like, a competitor. No, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> Stop lying. Yeah. Like, maybe in God, but not here. And the God. go crazy on duos. Literally. Yeah, I want to talk about Hawks a little bit because the Hawks, no one's been really talking about them. Are they like like slept? sneaky nine and six, yeah. three seed in the East right now? Yeah, it's Dante Murray, um, Trey Young playing pretty well together. Um, again, there's a lot of season left, but I think it was really interesting because the Hawks have notoriously started off really slow during the season, and now they've got a new new guard in the backcourt with uh, Trey. Suddenly, it's like, oh, you're starting off the season pretty well, so it'll be interesting to see how that goes. And then the Celtics, we talked a lot about the Bucks being like, well, the Bucks are just an example. Look at them; they have three losses in their top of the Eastern Conference. Fun fact, not anymore. The Celtics lead 12 and 3. They don't have Robert Williams yet. They fired Emo Joko. They, got, they benched him for the year because of yeah. the whole like, scandal. And then new head coach be like, oh man, it's going to be all bad. Nope, 12 and 3, lead the conference, no issues. Yeah. It's like it's absolutely like ridiculous to see a well run organization when you look yeah. at that. Like when you look at them, when you look at the Bucs, when it's just like they are so clearly run properly, yeah. it's like they are just head and shoulders better than other teams. Mm-hmm. It's like, oh, fine. Maybe they don't win the championship every single year, but it's like they will come back and they will be contenders for that championship for years to come. Yep. And then I gotta talk a little bit about my Phoenix Suns. How are they doing? Still doing good. Still not. I think they're nine and six. Still in the top uh, third place in the West. They're still being led by the uh, Portland Trail Blazers, who are still having a great season thus far. But how are the Jazz doing? The Jazz are. They've fallen off a little bit. Damn it! The Jazz is falling off a little. <laughs> the bit. The meme team but is they're gone. St- they're still in the playoffs right now. Though. They're still like ten and six. They've played a lot of games. They have, yeah. They've yeah. played 16 games, I think, which is still quite a bit at this point. Yeah. Because, like, the Hawks are 9-6. and six, That's 15. Um, they're, like, one less. And there's some other teams that have played less games. Mm-hmm. Um, but, yeah, that's kind of the basketball update. I mean, obviously, it's a long season, so we'll get into it more when, like, it yeah. gets a little bit closer and things really start Really, when, crazy. like, football ends and it's, like, yeah. it's just basketball, that's really when it starts to mm-hmm. pick up. Really. But I'm going to say here on the pod, just because I feel like if I don't say it, and no, then no one's going to be like, oh, you don't have receipts. Yeah. Joel Embiid, this might be, like, an inflection point where, like, he's had four days off. He could come back. I feel like he could theoretically come back from this game and just go crazy for like a month and yeah. just have one of the his, most historic ones in basketball ever played. Like, okay. I, but you know, Jokic will win MVP over him, obviously. Jokic. Same um, thing. And no, the Nuggets are not that good this year. Jokic is not even averaging over twenty points per game. No. How, um, how are the Cavs doing? Cavs, they're falling off a little bit too. Yeah. Oh, okay. damn. Um, but they'll, they'll bounce back. Maybe. Yeah. Hopefully, I don't like Donovan Mitchell, so I don't really care. Oh, um, that's it for the podcast. Oh wait, no, no, no. World Cup starts on Sunday. Say, I was just about to say that. It's like, uh, I feel like I've been, I feel like the World Cup's in the back of my mind for like a couple months now. And like, I feel like finally it's here. Yes. And it's at a weird time. But it it's really here. It is. Yeah. But yeah. Anyone got predictions? Who's going to win? USA! USA! <laughs> USA. <laughs> yeah. Okay. If we win, it's called soccer. Yeah. I'm putting my money on England. Uh, yeah, probably. <laughs> German. German. Okay. Do they even qualify? I, I mean, they're German. Yeah, oh, okay. um, so they're always good at soccer. But yeah, it's exciting. Brazil. It's exciting. Brazil. What's really cool though is like I feel like this is a good time for Americans to, like get more like invested, invested because we coming to us in twenty twenty six. So yeah, um, I we was, do like, have a pretty solid team. Yeah, we do have a solid team. Um, we should we should be able to get out of our group and then make some things happen. So it'll be fun. Um, we'll cover a little bit of the World Cup when we're on here. Yes. Um, and yeah, and Raj wanted to make a little bit of note about esports. No, he didn't. Oh, I mean, if we're going to talk about it, uh, there's proximity chat in Warzone 2 now, so it's very heinous. So that's not what esports is. We're going to ignore what he just said. Uh, <laughs> I don't have anything else about esports. I don't have anything going on. So there, are, there's a difference between... I know, Call of Duty League is an esport league, whatever. There you go. I know. There you go. I was just saying that as a meme earlier. <laughs> well, I wanted to. I wanted to include you. I wanted to be inclusive on the podcast. Oh, that's that's all good. And we love being inclusive. Yeah. There was some there was a League of Legends esports tournament that just I ended that. recently. Who won? Um I don't know. Uh apparently. good for them. Yeah, exactly. Good for them. Also, I think sucks for I think it was like 
the I don't I could be butchering this, but I think it was like the one dude kept getting to the finals and never won it, and then that's finally tough. won it. That's tough. I think that's how it worked. The Discord yeah. mod wait is an entire. <laughs> oh Not really eastward for the new Pokemon game comes out tomorrow too. No. <laughs> um. So be tuned. Um, <laughs> uh, but I think that's going to end it for this episode of this week in sports. If you liked what we had here, guys, just like talking about some recent games, please let us know. Um, big football games coming up, big basketball games coming up in the future. So stay tuned, and that'll be it for the podcast. So drop a like, do a thing, and see you next time. Brian Dables, Coach of the Year.